here. I'm Fabian. We go to Westdale Secondary School. Yeah. Over 1,600 kids go to Westdale, and every year our principal gives us around $5,000 to spend on stuff. Uh, the students at Westdale are supposed to come up with ideas for this money to be spent on, and Tryon's supposed to use our ideas to spend that money on something for everybody in the school. But they don't. For a few years, unwanted things have been purchased by Tryon, and we're sick and tired of them being lame. We from now on want to ensure that the students at Westdale's ideas will be heard and Triune will spend the money wisely. To get the lowdown on this, we talked to Big Daddy D, Mr. Del Sordo. So much drama in the LBC, it's kinda hard being Snoop D-O-double-G But I somehow, some way keep coming up with funky ass hits like every single day May I kick a little something for the G's and make a few hands as I breeze through Two in the morning and the party still jumping cause my mama So we're just wondering about the, the $5,000 that's spent at the end of the year and we're just wondering um, if if the five thousand dollars that goes to the students at the end of the year, if it acts, if it has like a name. Sure. It's what? called the Safe Schools Fund. The Safe Schools Fund. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the Safe Schools Fund? Um, I think so. Is that like money? Have you ever heard of the Safe Schools Fund? The which fund? The Safe Schools Fund. The Safe Schools Fund. Well, no, I haven't actually. Do you guys know what the Safe Schools Fund is? No. No. No idea. I have no idea. Yeah, you know, it's uh, stay, stay state and s no, stay safe and stay in school. That's what the Safe Schools Fund is? Yeah. <laughs> None of you? No. no. Ever heard of the Safe Schools Fund? No. Would you like to know what the Safe Schools Fund is? I would like to know what the Safe You've Schools Fund is. You've never been informed about what the Safe Schools Fund is? I have not been informed about what it is. No. Oh, yes, I have. It's this police program shit. All right, would you like me to tell you what the Safe Schools Fund is? No. Why is that? Because it sounds boring. You know the $5,000 that we're given at the end of the year? Oh, yeah. That's the Safe Schools Fund. Oh. Oh, that, yeah. Actually, I have heard about that, but I haven't heard about what we spent it on and how we spend it. And we also are wondering um, what exactly the money has been spent on for the sure. past like, few years. Well, um, the first year we did it, I believe you had $2,500, about half. And what year was that? The very first year, so that's about... Uh, this is my fourth year, so four years ago, yep. uh, 2007, 2008. Mm -hmm. um, the foosball table that you see in the back uh, in the gym. Yep. This is the foosball table that our money was spent on in 2008. Do you eat lunch in the balconies often? Yeah. How often do you eat here? <laughs> like every day. Yeah, and do you ever play with the foosball table in the corner back there? No. Do you ever see anybody using the foosball table? No. <laughs> do you ever play with the foosball table over there? No, but I did today. You did today? Yeah. Did. Do you eat lunch in the gym balcony often? Every day. Did you ever, ever use that foosball table over there? Have you ever seen anyone play it? No. No. Do you ever see anybody playing the foosball table back there? No. But how, how often do you see people playing it ever? Uh, once a month. <laughs> once a month? Yeah. yeah. Once a year. Do you think we should have spent our money on the foosball table? Well, considering the amount it gets used, probably not. Yeah. Purchase that foosball table and popsicles for the school at large. <laughs> and uh, what what was it spent on like the following years? Where you so wondering? then the second year uh, was uh, under the leadership of Patrick Whalen, who was the tribal president. And you know the sound system that we have in the cafeteria? Yep. It's about four thousand. It's actually a little bit more than four thousand dollars. But you had about four thousand dollars left in the account. I topped it up with a couple of extra thousand dollars to get you the sound system. So this is us trying to find this alleged sound system that's in the cafeteria. We've never heard of it. We don't know where it is. So we're gonna try and find it. So do you eat ca lunch in the cafeteria fairly often? Yeah, every day. Yeah. And uh, did you know that we're supposed to have a sound system in the cafeteria for everyone to listen to music to? No, I didn't. Know no, you that. didn't know that. So do you eat lunch in the cafeteria often? Yeah. And do you know that there's supposed to be a sound system in here to listen to music? Yeah, I've heard that there's some serious stage three just doesn't feel like doing it. Um, we don't know if this is it. This might be it. I don't we, know. This could be it. We'll keep looking. <laughs> 
Do you know more about the matter? Yeah, stage crew doesn't want to do it, so we're just lazy, so sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so do you eat lunch in the cafeteria often? Uh, yeah, most days we do. Yeah, do you know that there's supposed to be a sound system in here for us to listen to music to? Uh, no, I didn't know that. I'm not seeing any sound system. We're almost completely circled around the cafeteria. We're not seeing any sound system or iPod docking station. No sound system. Do you know that we're supposed to have a sound system in the cafeteria for, the, for us to listen to music to? I did. Yeah. Do you know where it is by any chance? It's over in the corner. So we were right earlier. This is the sound system. Um, it doesn't look like it's being used or it's very useful or even looks like a sound system really. But uh, I guess this is what they spent the money on. There's just wires and paper in there. In the following year, which was last year, under the prince, uh, sorry, under the leadership of um, Sahar, she came up with a suggestion box because what wanted to happen was to have a large screen in the cafeteria, you know, where the sound box is, yep. so that this way here we could put um, uh, movies on. So we'd buy a large screen and a movie projector. She had five different. Um, suggestions. That box went to this year's president, Sean Sears, and ironically he just asked me the other day that their triune likes to collaborate, put the two together, this year's money and last year's money to do something else and bigger. I said whatever the kids want. So the, the school president, like the, they get to decide what's it spent on, like or does like all the triune like, he listens to what everyone says and then he lets you know, right? Yeah, no, yeah. my understanding is that the whole school votes on it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever voted for any of the stuff Tryon's ever bought? No. Did you know that uh, apparently everyone is supposed to be voting on what's that spent, been spent on? Have you ever voted? No, I was not informed of that information. Have you ever voted on what the school school's money should have been spent on? No, not at all. I'm pretty you. sure Tryon just covers that and nobody really hears about it. That kind of depresses me. Did you, was there an announcement about it or anything? Uh, did you know we could vote? No. <laughs> and gives Triune suggestions, and then they just tell me what the majority wanted. Okay. I really am just the money person. Yeah. <laughs> you guys really make all the decisions. I just make sure that it's legal. We then moved on to talk to our class president, Sean Sears. When asked about the Safe Schools Fund over Facebook, he was also unsure of what it exactly was. So, hi. Uh, <laughs> All right, um, I would just like to know um, what you and Triune have decided to spend this year's Safe Schools Fund on. Uh, this year's Safe Schools Fund actually got revoked from us because uh, there was extreme amounts of vandalism in the third floor uh, boys' bathroom yeah. as well as the back stairwell by Media Arts. Uh, but fortunately, we had $4,000 left over from last year and we're using that to buy a uh, hydration system which includes uh, a new accessible water fountain and a bottle of water station. Mr. Del Soto, he told us that um, he, he says that he thinks the Triune um, sets up a voting kind of system for the students and that all the students in the school end up voting on what the Safe Schools Fund money is spent on. And I'm just wondering if you did that sort of thing or how you came up with a decision to spend that money. They, um, we did do that last year and uh, that money never got spent. I don't know if that was because of the voting thing or just because uh, by the time we had gotten the votes in, nothing ever got done with it. But uh, I did receive that box and most of, most of those in that box uh, said new water fountains and not new So okay. uh, we went with the water fountain but no we did not do another one this year. Uh, because the people that I, the students that I spoke to and the students that the rest of the representatives spoke to uh, all said that there's a general consensus that a water fountain would be best. So you were part of Triune last year? Yep, I was the grade 11 representative last year. Okay, and uh, so, so you said that there was a box for voting, and I'm just wondering, because I, I was never informed of a box for voting or anything like that, I'm just wondering if you or Triune ever tried to like get out to the students and say, hey, there's a box where you can vote and say what the money's been spent on. For last year, the box was in the main office, and I do believe that there was an announcement made on probably the first week or two, but not entirely sure. For this year, there was no announcement. After speaking to Sean Sears, we decided to find out the truth about Trine's decision and spoke to a Trine advisor, Mrs. Forrester. So you are a teacher 
Um, advisor. Advisor for Triune? Yes, I okay. am. For two years. For two years? So you also did it last year? Yeah, and I helped out the year before, so actually three. Okay, so um, we just want uh, maybe an outlook on how um, they spend the money for the past three years, like how they come up with the decision. Okay, so the, the three years ago, I don't know, because I wasn't involved in that decision making. Yeah. Two years ago, they never spent the money. So this year, um, Triune just gets together and, and throws around some ideas, and then they vote on what idea. So if you're asking whether they uh, survey the student body, they don't. I interviewed Sean Sears, and he said, I'm, I th I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he's talked to Triune or something, but he said they used the, there's a voting box or suggestion box from last year, and someone said something about... Uh, water fountains or... I know nothing about that. But that's no. only one student. So they didn't yeah. ask all, like, they didn't have a referendum and ask the whole student body, what do you want to do with the money? Because Mr. Del Sordo has told us that he thinks that, like, all the student body uh, votes on it. Like, he thinks that the triune, like, collects did, ideas from did, everybody did in the school. Did you vote on it? No. No, no one did. Just been going I'll tell around. you, it was over two or three lunch hours. They, they, this is a good idea. Yep, yeah, this is a good idea. Um... And then they went with it. And then uh, Student Bridge and Borders donated some money. And then we put the $4,000 from last year because we didn't get this year. Yep. And I know last year Sahar wanted to do uh, something in the, the gym or something in the cafeteria. And again, that was just Triune's idea. As you can see, there's a lot of confusion about the Safe Schools Fund thing. And as we said before, we want to make sure there's no more confusion to be had. $5,000 is a lot of money to be spent. And it should be handled with care. Triune needs to stop wasting this money, and it could go, and this money could go towards a whole lot of different things, such as communications. They have nothing. Do you have everything you need to have students learn at their full potential? No. To be honest, uh, we're lacking, uh, sort of lagging behind in, in technology. In uh, just the advances that take place in computers and anything electronic comes by so fast, uh, within five years you're obsolete. And right now, that's where we're at. Ideally, um, the editing suites that we have, which are computer based, need to update, be updated. So, ideally, again, editing is done on a Mac. And it'd be nice to get, say, four new Macs to do our editing. Video-wise, it would be nice to update our cameras. Um, in fact, our cameras are at a point where they don't upload to, to the computers. If we get new cameras, the computers we have won't recognize them. This afternoon's class said, oh, we'll just use our cameras on our phones. That's how bad it's gotten. That's the point we're at. A little frustrating. Uh, these computers and cameras are about seven years old, five to seven years. I go for just four cameras, four computers, get enough that uh, we can spread the, uh, the workload around. Not up to me to determine how you should spend the money. Um, not that I'm for giving students control over that much money. For one thing, you don't have the, the history behind you to make such a decision. Where would you spend that kind of money and, and make it worthwhile for either an entire school body or give it to a segment of the school body that may be at greatest need. Pull the student body and see what's what they want. That hasn't been done.